This one's about what the uh, letters and numbers and stuff on nozzles mean. Now I've got lots of other stuff on oil nozzles and I'll put a link to Gray Furnace Man on the oil page uh, so you can look at some of that if you're interested in some of the other stuff I've done on uh, on nozzles. But this one is just about the spray patterns. Uh, let's look close at these nozzles. Now if you look across here, here's one that says 70 degree W, that's a Delavan, 60 degree A, 80 degree B, and this one's the only uh, Monarch I've got, and it's got uh, 1.0080 degree AR. Okay, the Delavans, it's giving the spray pattern. The Monarch, it's giving the gallonage and the spray pattern. If I take here, I can see that's a 0 .50 gallons. So it's just a little different place. Okay, what do these things mean? What does this stuff mean? Well, let's take a look at a page in a guide. Now, this is a guide to oil heat. Uh, this is, it's a uh, publication by Beckett, and they do quite a bit of good work on this stuff, uh, and it's, it's really useful. You can find that thing on the Beckett website. These spray patterns are essentially, the ones we mostly use are either solid, which means the whole spray pattern is full of little tiny droplets, hollow, has a hole in the center and sprays around the edges and the semi-solid has two cones an outer cone and an inner cone and some space in between so which one should you use and what are these things what do the designations mean well I've got something here let's see if I can find it okay these are all the different manufacturers and what those letters mean, and numbers mean, and so on. Like if I take a Delavan, the A is hollow, the B is solid, the W is all-purpose, and SS is semi-solid. Okay, Monarch, R is solid, NS is hollow, AR is special solid, PLP is semi-solid, and PL is another type of hollow. They're all a little bit different. And we got Hago, Dan Foss, and Stein and two in there. What that stuff means for you when you're actually working on an oil furnace, there's different oil in different places in the country. This is U.S. Uh, and I'll tell you the ones that we almost always use where I'm at, which is in the Northwest. If I've got a Monarch, I'm going to use an NS or an AR. And they seem to work best with the oils around here. Now, there's a lot of people say you should be using the solids. And I have used them, and they've worked okay. But I don't have as good a luck as I do with these two. Now, Delavan's the other one I use quite a bit of. And for the most part, it's going to be an A or a W. Those seem to work best in our area. So those are the ones that I would recommend. You can go by manufacturer's instructions. A lot of furnaces come with a nozzle in them and they say that's the one to use. I don't know if it is or not. I haven't always had good luck with that. But that's what all that stuff means and that's what this video is about. And again, I'm going to link uh, some uh, other videos that tell how the nozzles are put together you know, how they're designed, I'll take some apart, and stuff like that. But uh, this one is just for the uh, indications that are on the side of the nozzle for what you should use. And by the way, if I take a, an NS out of a furnace, I'm going to start with an NS in it. I usually don't change them unless I have to, unless there's some kind of a combustion problem. Because usually like for like is your best bet. Anyway, that's it on that.